Ahoy, fellas. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of worked myself a love up a little bit about uh, the idea of Catholicism, right? And I'm probably like. There's not much point in me talking about Catholicism, but I'm going to start talking about Catholicism for little to no reason. That kind of deal, you know? And I'm sure it'll be an interesting episode. <laughs> so, I... It, any, any, uh, you know... Anybody watching, please. Is there anybody watching? Um, but particularly any Catholics on the scene. I was wondering about... Oh, uh, do I have to do this whole thing again? I think I have to do this whole thing again. Actually, hold on. I think I can just... Yeah, okay. Because there's a little thingy on the, uh... Um, uh, somewhere, you know? And I want to get to it. Uh, you know, I figured where... What better chance to talk about religion than the game about... But oh, you didn't know? I guess maybe I shouldn't skip dialogue. <laughs> Um, but, no, oh yeah, this game is fairly, it's, it's a religious commentary of sorts. That's fun. Aha! I knew it! There we are. Cool, yeah, I never get ivory oil. There is no ivory oil anywhere. I swear, I think I'm gonna have to fight something soon. But, I was thinking to myself, I know there's, like, the group of Catholics that believe the papacy to be empty at the point, and that there's, like, a sense by which, um, the, uh, like, at some point the Pope became illegitimate, and, um, the, yeah. I shouldn't talk about matters that don't concern me, because <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't remember the exact word for it, but it's like empty seat Catholicism, um, I believe is the idea, and just the, the general idea that, like, the office of the Pope has been compromised, something like that, and, um, can I reach it from here? No, of course not. And... I guess my concern about that is that I think I've talked about having watched, um, I'm doing great on my channel before, and I, I suppose my wonder is, um, oh god, I'm gonna run out, I'm gonna die, hold on. <laughs> oh jeez, okay. My, my concern is that, like, one of the things Mike would say is, uh, there's an extent to which the papacy has to be legitimate because otherwise the followers have nowhere to legitimately receive communion. You know, that kind of deal. But then my concern is, like, I wonder if Lerner knows about some of the more interesting points in the history of Catholicism. I would hate to be the one to... I, I, <laughs> I'm using the word enlightenment on accident. Enlighten him about these things, you know. Um, but, like, there was a period of time when, like, the Medicis were the Pope. The papacy was controlled by some banking clan, you know. There was a particularly debaucherous period known by the moniker of the Pornocracy, you know. It was that bad. Um, ooh, is this a fast travel area? No, it's not. Alright, I get the feeling that this is where I actually have to go, so I should visit every other area first. This is how I played Kirby games, and it always worked out really well. Unless... Okay. Cool, the shuttle platform. I get the feeling Elro's behind this, but it might be some Eldritch Horror instead. Uh, hey, it's not Elro or an Eldritch Horror. Well, I guess Royal's kind of an Eldritch Horror in his own right, but, you know. Uh, especially with this wake of terror. Dear God, Elro. Royal, you were doing absolutely nothing up until this point. Oh, boy. Well, this is fun. I can see where this is going. So... I don't actually know how, like, the Pope gets chosen. I would imagine there's some council of elders. 
made up of like ordained peoples, but if you're ordained by the Pope, and I would imagine all it really takes is like two or three generations of possible corruption to end up with just a complete flushing of the system from like righteous people. And I would imagine that at the point where the, <laughs> the entire church gets taken over by the pornocracy. I don't know how you reconcile that with the idea that it has to be legitimate where the followers have nowhere to receive any of the services, I suppose, legitimately. We're attacking something that was la locked away for a good reason, really. Okay, Agent Black. She's the real realist here. The tragic villain that everybody just loves. Yep. You're beyond change. Even the suits manage to see you as divine. Well, anyways. Hmm. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, Agent Black's an interesting figure because she knows what's going on. She's the real, uh, god. What? Uh, what was the guy's name? Wasn't it? No, Darren Beatty is an actual person. Warren? War... Captain... The guy from Fahrenheit 451. The guy's boss from good old 451. The well-read fellow that ends up just kind of acting within the system for reasons unknown. Great book, honestly. I liked the whole dang thing. It was interesting reading it in high school with a bunch of people that definitely didn't really get much out of it. I, uh, <laughs> hey, I, I sure gave up on trying to talk about Catholicism, huh? <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe this is just kind of like the way I think about things. I grew up Baptist, so I'm... It's In terms of religion, it's kind of ingrained into me the sense of some individual relation. You know, where you, It's like, if Christ is our advocate to the Father, then I feel like it would be a bit convoluted for us to then have an advocate to Christ in the form of papacy but at the same time I oh geez that's not good I'm not exactly like the <laughs> mr. righteous you know I can understand the idea of some kind of hierarchy there but you know people have pointed out certain contradictions between the papacy and like actual even biblical texts at times. Just you know, some interesting stuff. But hey, I'm not I'm not Catholic. So I don't know how much I actually care. Closest I get to Catholicism is Anglicanism. And I'm not even Anglican either, I'm Episcopal, which I feel like might actually be closer to Catholicism. It's basically like it's bargain bin Anglical. Bargain bin Anglical. Anglican, which is bargain bin Catholic Catholic. So, I'm like two bargain bins away from being Catholic. But, you know, anybody that isn't Catholic is a bit more decentralized, which I think is a good thing, personally. But that might be the American spirit within me, wanting to have a completely federal system. And, I mean, when we're talking about a true ultimate authority and Father God, um, <laughs> uh... It it, it, it it makes sense then to have something more authoritarian because, I mean, what else, if not God, can you rest authority in, you know? But hey, I'm not going to think too terribly hard about that or talk too terribly much about it. Oh, wonderful. Oh, God, she's ta Oh, God, he's taking his cock out! <laughs> okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, she's really doing some anime stuff and I'm not even taking... Oh my gosh! I was about to say I'm not taking damage. Yeah, right, I'm not taking damage. I'm absolutely taking damage. Uh, uh. Okay, cool. Dear God. 
She's she's doing some like iron fist stuff. Okay, cool. There was no point in me doing that. The usurper gun is actually really good. And I'm so glad that she Oh, oh, oh. Oh my gosh. I'm honestly really glad that she like very quickly calls her buddies here to give me health and doesn't actually kill me because why would she do that? She's such a nice villain, honestly. So considerate of my feelings and all that other stuff. Ow. I think she's gonna do her cool teleports right in front of you. Oh my wobble. Oh, I can shoot. Hey! I can shoot in eight directions instead of just four! That's pretty cool. I, yeah, uh, this is not going the best. Sheesh. She's actually just kind of like. She ain't going full on Ultra Instinct or nothing, but. Haha, I make funny Dragon Ball reference. Ugh. Ugh. No. Ow. Ow. Ugh. Uh. Honestly, having to fight on this landscape is not the greatest thing imaginable. I think in this room they can't even heal either. I'm better than... Ugh. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Well, here we go. Can I loot her corpse for ivory oil? I want to make some trinkets, my friend. Come on. Oh, cool. We dragged them both out. I'm too good for my own good. Maybe. Then again, I don't know how long this took. At least one of them is very heavy. Probably. I'm not gonna say which one. <laughs> um. I did it. Um, uh. No, she's KO'd. I knocked her out, man. Oh, am I a, am I a no-killing kind of guy? I don't know. I left her in the kind of room that she can't heal in with enough of an injury that someone like her is actually down for the count. I don't think that's the kind of you'd come back from that kind of thing. Especially since nobody, it seems like, knows the room's there. Because that, that room in there... <laughs> Is the that's like the, the the truth room, the sacrilegious complete destruction of cult room, you know? That's the you see it and your eyes are opened to completely disavowing everything you already believed, you know. I'll get Robin to her brother if she wishes it. Oh very nice. Ah, uh, finally. Ladies, ladies, stop fighting. I'm the one that ends up doing all the heavy lifting anyways. Let's be honest here. Wow, now I have three people in my party. Three people that don't do anything at all, except for one of them. Except for one. Robin actually does things, I keep forgetting. Is there anything in this room? No. Okay, cool. Very nice. Uh, yeah. But, yeah. If I've done some uh, silly, goofy blasphemy throughout this video, uh, please let me know. I would love to know. I would love to know that I've upset people. I love upsetting people so much. Um... But legitimately not my intention to cause any kind of, <laughs> um, you know, complete, actually, no, we're a bit far from a safe statue. I think it might just be a waste of time to try going back. We're going forward. Hey, it's the train. Nice. Let's get on here. Very cool. I love trains. I like trains. I like trains. Yeah, anyways. Yeah. I haven't been able to stop Chrome. I feel like I've fought him only once though, and I don't know if I actually fought him. Hmm. We grieve that concerned officials have been led astray. We grieve that they remain afraid of them. In the ideal world we all unite behind the right cause. I just hope they might have understood. Oh, as a wise, faithful man from the proceeds once said, Look down at me and you see a fool. Straight at me and you see yourself. Ah, what a great set of quotes. Anyways, it's honestly a pretty good one. Oh, heck. Oh? Well, that's not good. 
I guess I won't be fighting Chrome then. Just one of Elro's syringes. Well. <laughs> no! <laughs> Quiet. This is a two part epoxy. And I am a man of faith. I cannot die. Unless I do. I don't know, I don't I don't think he's gonna melt. Don't you see? That which even destroys agents chosen spared me. <laughs> the great he himself is smiling upon me. Very nice. I'm glad we can get a real uh ide ideolo ideological ideologer? No. Not ideologer. Ideological fella like Chrome to be the villain here, you know? I, get, I grow tired of the Agent Blacks of the world. I beat the crap out of her. Anyways, not my concern. There's only one concern in this game. There's... Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Anyways, my one concern right now is finding a save statue. Uh, hey, there we go. Oh, pray to work for a safe... Pray to work for a safe Mother Day. Uh yeah, I've been playing for too long. All right. <laughs> uh, till next time, like, comment, and subscribe, or I will blaspheme against our Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus Christ. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.